Today in QT4 Designer, we are going to create a main window and we're going to edit its toolbars menu. So choose main window here and click create. And basically this is very similar to a widget uh, window, uh, except for by default it's got, let me resize that down, it's got a menu bar and a status bar. The status bar is down here at the bottom. We're not going to really look at that today. And this is the menu bar up here at the top. Uh, and so if you want to have a menu, we can say, you know, normal stuff is to have is like file. And then we can click here and we can say open. We can say close. We can add a separator, which in this theme you can barely see, but there's a line there separating stuff. And we can say something like import. And when we click on that, oh, I didn't hit enter. Import enter we can click this little plus sign that kind of adds a sub menu so now we can add um, file object whatever so now if we hit control R to get a preview of this window we can click on file here and we have open close import file object none of them do anything yet let's add another menu up here we'll say this is the edit menu and we'll say copy, we'll say paste, and we'll say clear. So now, I ignore the little pop-up bubbles up there in the corner, that's just I need to disable that while I'm recording stuff. Um, now I'm going to add a label here, drag that over here so we have this label which has some text on it. And uh, so how do we add uh, signals and slots from one of these to something over here or to do something else? If we hit FF4 like we normally do, we, we, can't, we can't click on that menu to link stuff. Uh, so we can manually do it down here in our slot editor. It's this tab here. We have uh, signal and slot editor. And we can manually put them in where say add. And the sender is the item that's causing the, the, the effect of the receiver. So for example, I will click here on this and we will choose, you can see actions. These are our um, actions in our menu here. Uh, I have close. So action close, that is this one here that says close. We're going to choose a signal when it's activated. Double click here for the object is gonna be our main window and the slot will be something like close. Now if we hit control R to get a preview of that window I can hit file close and it closes that window. We can add another one over here we can say uh, action clear which is under our edit here see we got clear there so the sender is clear action clear uh, the signal is going to happen when it's activated the receiver is going to be our label which is our text label here and what it's going to do is it will clear it. We can hit control R and once again we can go to edit and clear and it clears that text. We can hit file close and it closes that window. If we go to our uh, action editor here it has all our actions, all our stuff for our menu and you can see them all labeled here. You can rename them if you'd like. There's the text whether they're used or not. And you'll see there's a column called shortcut. So for example, uh, we have the, uh, let's go to our clear. We can double click here and it brings up this window. We have our text, the object name, uh, tool tip, which is uh, what we get, I believe, when we hover over that item, it will say what's there. So we can say clear label if we want with one B. Uh, icon, obviously you can add an icon to it, whether it's checkable, but shortcut, we can click here and we can choose a button. I'll just choose C. I think that will work. We'll click OK. We will start up with Control R to go into preview mode and we will hit C and you can see that it cleared that out. It cleared it out because we set a shortcut key of C. You can do combinations as well. Let's click back in here and I'll say uh, control C, which is normally copy, so you wouldn't really want to do that. But just for this scenario, 
Control C, I can hit Control R to start this up. If I hit C, no longer does anything. If I hit Control C, it clears it out. And you can see right here, it tells you that's the shortcut for it. And if I hover over it, let's see. No, I thought the tooltip would uh, appear there. I was wrong about that. Uh, let's go file close. So that's how you can add a menu. And once again, like I said, this is this is the default with the main uh, window. But um, if we search, I believe you can add it somehow if you create a widget window. I should have looked that up before I started doing this tutorial. I'll get into that in another tutorial maybe. But we learned something new today. Keep on watching. Visit filmsbychris.com for more video tutorials like this. Also visit forum, filmbychris.com forward slash forum. Or chat with us on IRC, filmsbychris.com forward slash IRC. All those links are in the description. I thank you once again. Once again, if you watch my previous two tutorials on QT4 Designer, I show you how to convert this into a Python script. I'm not going to show that in every single tutorial. Um, so watch those videos to see how to do that. Thanks for watching and have a great day.